Okay, today I'm going to teach you a pretty neat trick of how to multiply together two very large numbers. Now, most people will know their times table, and with that knowledge of the times tables, you can effectively multiply any numbers at all using this kind of pictorial method. Okay, so let's take two random numbers, 23 and 42. Now, first of all, what we do is we take the two and we do two lines. Then we do another group of three. And then we do vertical lines for the second number. First, a group of four. And then a group of two. Then we have to group these intersect groups. And we do this like, like this. First, the top left corner. And then we group diagonally. around each of the intersect points. And then finally in the bottom right corner. And then what we do is simply add up the numbers of intersects in these groups and write the figures down here to add together. So first we have 2 by 4, which obviously if a child knows their timetables will be able to quickly write down 8. Then we have 4 plus 4 by 3, which is 12, which is 16. So we write the 1, the 10 unit, under the 8, and then the 6 next to it. So again, we're going diagonally down. And then the final group here we have is 6, which we write in the next diagonal, diagonal iteration. So we have 6 plus 6 plus the 9, 8 and 1 is 9. So the answer for 23 times 42 is... 966 and it works every time it's actually a really simple method and kids you know if they if they forget other methods of doing multiplication might be able to pull this one out in an exam and actually um, come up with the correct answer every time just by remembering the simple rules now this scales up quite well so here's an example I was just doing earlier just as a test so we take two very large numbers, 1,242 times 3,215. As you can see, I've drawn the lines down horizontally and vertically, as I explained. And then you group in the diagonal method, starting in the top left, grouping diagonally all the way through the grid, each of the intersect points, until you get down to the bottom right. And it should be quite clear if you've done it right or not. And then, once you've got those, you just count up the intersect lines, and draw it down in a diagonal way with the 10 unit going under the previous figure and if it's a single unit it just goes down diagonally into the next column and then you add up vertically. If you get a, a situation where 8 plus 2 is 10 you put 0 and carry the 1 and so in this case 1,242 times 3,215 is 3,993,030 and I checked that on the calculator and it's entirely correct. So it scales to any figure you like. And also, quite simply, if, if a child is in an exam and just forgets even the basics, what's 2 times 9? They can write, uh, they can calculate that in the same way. By counting the intersects. 18. Anyway, I hope that uh, helps. I hope you can pass on that information to some of your kids and maybe help them in some exams. Have a good day.